Good morning, dear students. Today we start the first lecture of the discipline Metal Constructions, actually design and calculation of metal constructions. So, uh, and uh, I want to start talking with you uh, about um, our steel industry, about design industry from this topic. So actually the iron and the steel industry is the uh, basic for the development of uh, many numbers of other industries in the global economy. So defense of industry, uh, transportation, civil engineering, uh, energy production, construction, um, which are including many types of it. So moreover, iron and steel industry is uh, close, uh, closely related to the chemical industry, uh, light industry and the heavy industry. So uh, global trade and facts in the figures. Um, over the last 35 years, the iron and the steel industry um, has seen significant changes. As you see on the diagram and the tables, how many ton of million tons uh, every time are uh, imported and the exporters uh, from the many countries. As in the uh, 1980, uh, more than 700 million tons of steel was produced uh, in the following countries, which you see on the table. So uh, at that time, the leader was uh, USSR about 21% uh, of global steel production. Uh, Japan, USA, Germany, China, Brazil, France, um, and uh, other countries um, around the world uh, productive really huge number. It's about more than uh, 1,665 million tons uh, and uh, if um, we'll compare with each year we'll see that um, it will be a rise every year so every year the uh, amount of production is increased so the list of uh, leading countries um, has changed significantly from that time uh, china ranks first like you see um, on the table, number one, 20, the exporters, according to the uh, 2016 year. Um, it uh, has produced the 60% uh, of all global steel production. Uh, the share of other countries uh, show that um, top, then is Japan, USA, Russia, South Korea, United States, Germany, Ukraine, and the other ones. Um, also, there are, uh, can be found uh, that uh, India also in the 15th of uh, exporters and importers uh, of most powerful. Uh, consumption trends. Uh, actually, iron um, in all its forms, uh, cast iron, steel, uh, rolled metal, and others, is uh, most of all used uh, in construction, like a construction material in a modern uh, global economy. Uh, it uh, uh, retains uh, 
leading place in construction ahead of uh, so in comparison of wood uh, competing with the cement with the ferro concrete uh, also with uh, uh, new types of constructional materials uh, like um, polymers and ceramics plastic fiber plastic and so on so many years of engineering industry uh, has been used to ferro materials than uh, any other industry but global steel consumption uh, uh, characterized it by the upward trend so the trend means that uh, consumption is increasing nowadays so each year uh, shows the result that uh, increasing rate is about two or three percent of each the year so um, developing countries have a higher level of uh, steel consumption about more than uh, one billion tons uh, every year so uh, what can we uh, say about Kazakhstan uh, Kazakhstan is a place of uh, really interesting uh, territory according to its history of uh, steel production uh, according to the number of uh, production of steel and so on so uh, steel making in uh, enterprises of Kazakhstan have overcome the first wave uh, of the uh, financial crisis and return, uh, retain production uh, at uh, 80 to 90 percent of the capacity. Uh, the analysis of the depression and growth in Kazakhstan in the uh, mythology in the last years allowed to make some um, very important uh, conclusions. Uh, first, um, in spite uh, of the construction of new steel making enterprises, the um, disbalance between uh, kinds of manufactured products and uh, um, products uh, consumed uh, by the metal uh, branches has not been solved yet so more than uh, 3 million tons of structural and uh, uh, special steel include uh, including uh, railways pipelines uh, stainless sheet uh, and other materials are imported so it means that uh, all the constructions which are used in various industries produced are not in the Kazakhstan it produced abroad and we brought it uh, despite that we uh, have opportunity we have uh, um, uh, the sufficiently enough amount our own still to produce it uh, in the Kazakhstan uh, the second conclusion is that Kazakhstan steel making industry needs uh, diversification by plants. So uh, when there was the USSR, there was a really big amount of the uh, steel plant, steel making uh, plants, uh, which was um, uh, in uh, guarantee for our country the needable amount of uh, all materials from steel but nowadays um, they are just um, there are just the mini plants about 0 0.3 or from 2 million tons capacity specializing in production of uh, cast and the roll it uh, cast and roll it uh, special steel uh, billets actually it's not enough 
uh, and the right demands of mansion building, uh, construction, uh, there are uh, very developed uh, oil and gas sector in our country, transport and metalware, uh, while roads, uh, space elements, um, automobile production, uh, agriculture, agricultural production, and so on. That's uh, uh, very important. And the third, it's necessary. Uh, many specialists in Kazakhstan uh, for a long time say, uh, just saying uh, one thing that it's uh, necessary to preserve the state metal stock by the uh, complete ban of metal scrap export. So we need to stop all export from the Kazakhstan of the metal. Um, because there are um, very big uh, necessary necessary of uh, metal in our country. So the main uh, consumers of steel production of Kazakhstan in construction actually sector all the sector is need of the steel production too. Um, if we will say about uh, Kazakhstan, in Kazakhstan there are um, nowadays no steel making enterprises, no, no one. That's a really uh, big uh, problem, uh, capable of uh, meaning the demand. I'm sorry teacher, but uh, we can't listen to you. All of you can not listen to me. У вас звук, у вас звук такой приглушенный, с другом слышно, с другом слышно. Is that problem for all of us or just for? Для всех. Okay, I will try to uh, speak uh, with more uh, loud. Okay. Uh, so uh, absence of the steel making enterprises is one of the biggest problem for our country uh, so uh, it was <clears throat> one of the reasons for uh, um, bankruptcy of machine building in the uh, kazakhstan and uh, still uh, um, the period of uh, 19, uh, 1990 there was about uh, one uh, 1600 enterprises uh, which was dealing with uh, producing uh, steel making <clears throat> but nowadays there are about 200 and most uh, of them there are many uh, um, mini steel making mini uh, factories which operated only about 10, uh, 15 to 20 percent for their capacity. Um, reconstruction of uh, steel making uh, production actually connected with the increasing of uh, increasing of product quality requires manufacturing of uh, uh, manufacturing of efficiency, uh, <clears throat> new uh, generation. Uh, alloys, um, good for metal treatment and the so on. So this production I used in sufficient reserve for improving steel and uh, of course um, iron quality. Uh, so Iron and steel industry um, can be divided into two uh, categories, primary and the second steel production. Uh, in primary steel production, steel is manufactured red from the basic iron to steel or not uh, to final product. So uh, the uh, industries producing the primary steel at generally integrated steel plants uh, with uh, manufacturers in final products in form uh, of billets, um, angles, uh, channels, rods, 
and the so on. Uh, secondary steel manufacturing involves conversation, metal scrap, um, and uh, <clears throat> manufactured through the format products. So, um, actually, emission due to the carbon dioxide uh, acute due to the use of uh, fossil fuels during the production of the steel making and the electricity in the furnaces are very important uh, thing which need to be uh, solved. Uh, among the elements uh, composing the crest of uh, earth, iron exists in the largest uh, quantity next to the oxygen silicon and aluminium so iron exists as a uh, natural uh, ores in form of oxidus and estimated amount uh, of one um, deposits in a world so it's approximately about uh, um, about uh, 800 billion tons so high grade iron or is the crash for the citizen production was um, fine as well as slump so um, uh, pulverized or is uh, processes into pellets by uh, its process that involves mixing where finally ground particles with the fluxing materials so the figure actually uh, at all illustrates the uh, steel making processes. So all steps from the beginning to the uh, finishing, when there are already uh, uh, materials in the uh, billets, blooms, slabs, and other uh, constructions, in ready constructions. So uh, basic secondary steel processes can be divided also in several stages, beginning with the raw material uh, in the iron and steel industry. Raw materials are scrap, uh, fluxes and uh, uh, ferro oils. Um, so during the uh, melting, melting stage, the scrap and sponge iron, again, fluxes, ferroalloys melted in electric arch furnaces. So uh, there are after a molten metal from electric and arch furnaces um, is, uh, can be taken in a, a ladder from the uh, refining. Uh, next, in uh, casting the liquid steel, is uh, cast into the semi, yes, semi-finished project products uh, such as uh, billets, blooms, slabs, and uh, etc. So uh, during the rolling, these billets um, up, so heating it to the at degree 100, uh, 1,200 degrees. So uh, it makes the metal. Uh, more malleable and uh, roll it into the finished product. Uh, the rolling stage can be followed by the uh, rolling. Actually, rolling is an important part of creating the uh, rolling metal uh, products. Uh, the rolled products also cool it um, for conditions before undergrounding the next processes steps. Uh, the finish products also inspected uh, for metallurgical and uh, physical defects uh, by non-destructive testing such as radiography uh, also can be used um, x-rays which can uh, help found uh, uh, in the beginning stage, the defects of the ready construction materials 
which will help to uh, not lead to the big problems during the installation or operational time. That's also important. Uh, finish and the inspected products, uh, bundle it and dispatch it actually in the country uh, according to the need. Uh, still, a foundry operation can be uh, classified into four areas. Uh, they are melting, molding, petling, and the heat treatment. So, operations start with uh, melding or scrap in the arch or uh, induction furnaces. The molten metal is uh, subjected to uh, refining with the uh, uh, basically uh, involves uh, the consumption of uh, molted metal through the carbon and alloy additions. That's uh, for uh, cast iron uh, adding the uh, carbon and alloy additions is an important stage because it increased its uh, uh, chemical and physical uh, characteristics, positive characteristics and uh, uh, created more durable. So uh, then a liquid metal um, um, powered in the malted bo boxes. So already uh, before uh, melting the boxes are prepared and uh, after the metal is ready it's powered in that mold boxes. The uh, casting is removed from the mold boxes and taken to the surface finish. Uh, arch furnace is connected to transform uh, of a rating which is normally about uh, four to five hundred kilowatts per ton of metal. Um, process involves melding of scrap by application uh, of intense heat uh, generated by the arch. Uh, at induction furnaces is shaped similar to the cylindrical and it just uh, surrounded by the uh, conduction of uh, coil. So energy transfers through the magnetic field which directly links the charge. The amount of energy uh, is absorbed uh, on the field of uh, intensity and the electrical uh, uh, resistivity of the charge and the operating frequency. Um, when it comes uh, to energy flows, the energy cost rolling uh, constitutes about uh, 40 to 50 percent of the manufacturing cost of this industry. So uh, first in terms of oil and the coil accounts about the two or third energy cost. Uh, actually uh, thermal energy is uh, required for heating, uh, for steel ro uh, rolling operation. Fluel oil is most common uh, used um, in the uh, places when there are reheating furnaces. Uh, reheating, it means uh, when the ready material are heated again but, uh, to uh, change its uh, properties. Uh, electrical energy is used by all the units to run the motive uh, loads. Uh, actually, steel foundry is um, electrical intensity. And uh, in this case, energy can cost per ton uh, could go up to as high as uh, 40%. Arch melding also require energy, so does induction melding. So uh, here is a figure um, which uh, illustrates the uh, energy balance in reheating furnaces. 
as furnaces operate the higher temperatures, uh, the uh, exhaust gases leave at the temperatures, and uh, this result of uh, um, really um, poor efficiency. So uh, there are four uh, heat re re uh, recover device such as the heater uh, should be uh, one of the parts of this system. So the low uh, house temperature, the maximum in the efficiency, uh, maximum at the furnace, uh, furnace efficiency. So this concept is applicable for heat treatment furnaces actually as uh, well it can. Uh, production of iron. As, uh, first of uh, all, it's graded in the crashed and the finite particles sintered. Uh, then sintering uh, in the process of con uh, converting fine particles into the uh, continuous mass. Next, uh, iron uh, or powder it is uh, compacted uh, and heated to the uh, special temperatures, so below the melting point. Uh, this uh, will be results of uh, waste which um, being removed and uh, uh, particles of uh, iron and uh, all other materials uh, shape it or uh, creates like um, aggr uh, agglomerates. agglomerates. Uh, next, uh, smelted iron uh, runs to the bottom of the uh, furnaces and the tapered off. Uh, the components like limestone combines with the uh, impurities and the forms a slag uh, as this lighter than iron so that's why it's located above the iron it floats to the top and uh, tapered off uh, <clears throat> So uh, here is the uh, production, the main types of uh, production of iron and steel. It, is, it can be produced as a blast furnaces, basic oxygen furnaces, and uh, electric arch furnaces. So here is uh, a picture which uh, illustrates the production of molten steel, uh, which consists of uh, several processes. And uh, as you see, there are um, the direction of the production from the beginning to the ready molten steel. Uh, in the plant is added the limestone, uh, iron ore, coil, and uh, all of them are going to the uh, uh, blast furnace, which creates the most uh, molten iron. Then there can be added the basic oxygen. Uh, oxygen uh, is one of the important things uh, in creating the molten steel. Uh, also, in the ready um, furnaces, added the recyclable steel scraps um, through the electric edge furnaces. Is it go to the uh, stage when the rail will be go out the uh, molten steel. Uh, if we'll divide on the special steps, there will be first step, it's a charging. When there are scrap iron and steel forms, consist about 30% uh, 
of uh, all liquid mass next more molten iron blast from the blast furnaces make up the rest blowing so uh, a water coolant pipe carries oxygen in the surface of the hot metal and the picture is with the special pipes through the pipes the oxygen is directly um, arrived to the uh, molted um, iron oxygen blows at higher pressure which increase temperature and burns of impurities so uh, as i told you uh, oxygen in this case create uh, increase the temperature in the uh, furnace Sampling, sampling uh, samples are taken to check the composition of the steel. So this is nowadays is uh, one uh, of processes which are produced by the handmade. It's a handmade pr production. So if all of the processes can be uh, operated uh, by the computer, uh, but uh, this step sampling can be done only by the specialist who work um, in the uh, plant of production of steel. Next, topping. Uh, so, chemical analysis indicates correct compositions, lens and lifted out. Uh, in this way, can be added some additional materials which will uh, increase. Uh, like capacity, like uh, all other characteristics of the metal and the so on. So molten steel is powered through top hole. Uh, removing slag. So chemical uh, um, once chemical analysis indicates correct compositions, lens is lifted out. So the slag is uh, lifted out because it is a negative component for the steel, for molten steel. So here is the principal scheme of electric arch furnace. Um, electric uh, arch furnace consists of uh, several main composites. It's a power cables, uh, swivel roof, water uh, coolant panels, furnace doors, uh, steel scrap, topping spot, refractory leaning, and the carbon electrodes. Uh, like uh, in the previous one, there are several states. It's a charting, melting, slugging, topping, and uh, that's all. So if uh, you have Questions we have less than one minute, and actually, we'll continue on this next lecture. You can ask, and if I will have time, I will answer. If you have not questions, thank you very much, and I will see you. Uh,